up, you guys? Welcome to Respawn Inbox. I'm Mr. Sark. I'm APL. This is the show on Team Respawn where we answer your Facebooks, your tweets, your emails, and sometimes even your real mail. Today in the States, it's President's Day. Yes, it if is. If you're not American, you're not going to give a shit. But we get the day off, so yeah. we, we give a shit. We totally so, give a shit. Yeah, yeah, I love President's Day. On with the show, then. Let's do it. President's let's do the mail. Show. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, send it. Ow! What the? Ow! Are you all right? What the fuck? Holy shit, man. That looks like... Look at like it. Look at it hurt. Come on! Oh, are you alright? You right, got man? that? Yeah, I get yeah, all over it. You, you just recover over there. That was that Dick was dangerous shit's upstairs. Yeah, dude. Not sending Put it down through the pipe. Brand Super new dangerous. Pneumatic hose. Jeez. Oh, you, you, you are you a good? little nervous about? Yeah, I'm a little nervous actually. There we go. I'm gonna use this, this properly. That's <laughs> work. You're gonna backhand me. We're all right. If there's, what if there's like a dried giant African spider? Covered in anthrax. Oh, that's what God. I'm... All right, here all we right. go. Yep, let's dig in together. All right, let's do it. Oh, oh, nice. Okay. Well, let's You wanna first... handle the wow, literature? This is... oh, yeah, this sure. is for you, for APL directly. Hmm. Wow, okay, addressed to me. Nice. Um, I'm gonna right. go ahead and, well, actually start reading here. He Should may... I read the, the first thing? Yeah. Okay. Dear Mr. Sark and APL, I come bearing gifts, enclosed in this box are various items in which I hope to see you use to scare people around the office during their long, tedious hours of gameplay. I.e. the pop gun and the poppers. Okay, very nice. The Nerf gun included is for pure enjoyment when the camera and sound crew get out of line. Also included, there are Oreos. They should go well with the vodka, Mr. Sark. And there's a sympathy card for APL for having to do, do a show with Borif. Thank you. On a side note, there's a small bag of cocaine for C-Nanners, in which I ask you to present it to him next time you encounter him. Last but not least, there are two bottles of exquisite root beer, in which, uh, which are for you to crack open and enjoy. Note, best cold. Best served cold. Yours truly, Robert Hu Robert. Robert Huber. There's no root beer in here. No? There's no root beer? Do you, think they, do you think the male guys took it out? Oh, and then he added, and they wouldn't let me send the root beer. Oh, if he wrote that down. That's oh, right. okay, all right. So, yeah, so it must not have... Okay, well, thank you, Robert. That's very nice. Let me open yeah. my sympathy card from him. This is, uh... I can't even open this. This is the card from, uh, huge, Robert for me. Wishing you comfort. <laughs> a flower on it. <laughs> this, this is for... for this is for hosting with, with Borif. Yes, he says, Dear APL, no words, however kindly meant, can soothe your pain away. But hope the love around you will help you through today. And hope each day that passes brings you hope and comfort too, through memories and the heartfelt prayers of those who mourn with you. <laughs> Robert, wow, I appreciate it. And then he says, fuck you, Borif. Um, hashtag Hutch. Hashtag Hutch. <laughs> From Robert. You went on to this, Rube? Yeah, that shit will fucking put an eye out. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, man. <laughs> right at the. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, let's hear the cap. Oh, man. Do we? Do we I'm do the cap? Gun? My, my oh, chest holster. Oh, jeez. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. I feel sort of retarded. Yeah? Yeah. From the, the... Cookies and toys. Yeah. I, I mean, dude, this is bringing me right back to my childhood. Yeah. So I'm absolutely you like with it. this. Including this. Yeah, I'll have to send it down. Yeah. Peppermint patties remind me a lot of my grandmother. Thanks for not fucking it up this time. Don't these remind you of old people? The people we work with. Oh, Peppermint your Patties? Peppermint yeah, for Patties? some reason. I think I associate them with nursing homes. What do we got? Guess the movie on this week's envelope. I am Jack's Raging Bile Duct. Right? That's obviously from uh, Jack the Giant Slayer coming out any day. <laughs> obviously. Very clearly. Obviously. Yeah. Starring Tyler Durden. Mm. Uh, all right, first question up. <laughs> Colin Plooch asks, how do you pronounce my last name? If you're having trouble, ask Borf for help since he speaks German. Well, Colin Plooch, <laughs> obviously, I have no problems with it. Nope. So fuck you, Borf. Wow. All right, next question comes in from Cameron Nelson, who says, to Sark, if APL had a kidney problem, would you give him yours? I can survive with one kidney, right? Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. No. I would uh, I would come in and visit you though. I'd bring you fucking poppers and Oreos and shit in the hospital. But uh, what if someone? What if all I could think about would be what if someday somebody who I actually cared about had a kidney problem? I need to have that kidney to give to them. <laughs> You're just gonna eat that pain away. 
I'm not gonna so let good. you fake eating that either. Fucking diet boy. Bottoms up. Come on. <laughs> Eat that shit. There we go. Swallow it. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Swallow that shit. You start you you started this shit, you're gonna finish it. You'll thank me in a minute. It's good. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Good job. <laughs> Uh, Our next question comes from <coughs> Dennis Miller. He asks, hey, when was the last time you cried and what was it about? Mm. That's a good question, Dennis Miller. I watched a video called Last Minutes with Odin on Vimeo. Oh, wow. It is yeah. one of the saddest, but oh God, you will, I don't care how hardened you are in your heart, that video will break you. You need to look it up. Such a bummer. Such a bummer. Good video. Very it's good. It's good, but it's sad. So yeah. sad. Although, uh, that was a little while ago. Yeah. I cried a little more recently. Mm. Uh, I watched... Goodwill Hunting mm. on demand, and the part where Robin. Ben Affleck comes oh. up to the door and Matt Damon isn't home, you know, because mm. he's like moved on. Oh, oh God. God. I'm just like, it's rough. <laughs> ben Affleck does that thing where he's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, that gets me every time. Oh, man. Gustav Ludwig's, uh, Ludwigsen says, I, you were to create a human centipede between Mondo, Hollywood, and Swing, who would you place where and why? Ludwigson sent this question in between composing sonatas. <laughs> Harps, harpsichord <laughs> sonatas. I Should know. I start at the tail end or the head? Start the with front? the tail. Well, the who's front it? is the good side. Who's at the tail? This, this is very telling. Who's going to be at the tail of this whole thing? <laughs> Mondo's at the... Oh, shit. Wait, hold on. Hold on, Mondo. <laughs> How do you feel about that, Mondo? Mondo yeah. Mondo's at the tail, okay. and here's why. All right. I have a good reason a for everything. Eater. You know what? This, this... <laughs> Please frame this in a positive light. Right. Th these were my reasons. This is how my brain works. Mondo's at the tail because he's got a nice ass, right? And you want to... <laughs> you want your... Whatever. Fine. Moving on. Hollywood's in the middle because you need a strong core for your centipede. And that's like a big like thorax abdomen combined. That's a core. Right? And then swings up front because he's a he's a nutrition expert, so he can eat. He can shit. He can decide what is best for the for the rest of his new body. That's, be like, that's no, good. Too that's, many, yeah, that's too well many carbs. Out. You're right. You're right. How you doing back there, Mondo? We just had too many carbs. <laughs> Uh, oh my God. <laughs> Hollywood, it, here's how it would probably work, oh. is Hollywood would just be walking around with them hanging <laughs> off of him. He's, <laughs> there's, no, there's no crawling, he's just like, fuck this, I got places to go. <laughs> oh boy. Holy <Yeah>. shit. <coughs> wow. Good question, Gustav. Wow. Woodson. I think you addressed that. Mm. Jonathan Edwards asks, will you guys play some old school shooters like Doom, Quake, or Unreal Tournament on Team Respawn? Literally every time when. someone has asked oh, me might. if we would play a game on Team Respawn, my answer is just yes. Right. We, we, we will. We'll play anything. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yep. I can't give you a date of when we'll play these, but nope. it could come up on the uh, rotation. Of those three, what would you, what would probably, you hop into first? I would go, probably Doom. Me I too. love Doom. Yep. Same. And then probably Quake. Yep. And then maybe Unreal Tournament. I just never Unreal never Unreal, got on with it. There's me. actually on the free table right now, there's an Unreal Tournament uh, 2004 copy. PC oh, really? DVD. Three DVDs. Sweet. That'll totally install on a modern machine. <laughs> yes, absolutely. No problem. <laughs> there's a reason it's on the free table. <coughs> Jesse Campos asks, Mr. Scott, what's your first impression of Hutch's video, My Experience with Mr. Sark? Well, for those of you. God damn it. <laughs> I couldn't do. Oh, I, cl I clearly couldn't that. do what FPS Russia does. That was my reaction to a cap gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I almost had a heart attack there. Boy. Mm. For those of you who uh, who don't know, Jesse is referring to three videos Hutch recently made where he talked uh, at length about his time here at Machinima specifically and his relationship with me, which sounds weird, but uh, I think he sums it up. He, I mean, it takes, it's in typical Hutch fashion, it takes him a little while. 
He's a, what did you call it? You, you're the same way. You call it a verbal... Oh, verbal diarrhea? A, no. <laughs> what? That's what I call what no, I No, you said a verbal... Oh, oh uh, a verbal processor. Verbal processor. Yes, by I talking think, it out, you're realizing that that's how you feel about things. Yeah, I and think Hutch is a verbal processor yes. as well. We and uh, and it was good. It was, uh, I guess, I, I, here's what my thoughts were. At the end of it, it sounded like he thought of me as a big brother, mm -hmm. and I think of him still as a little brother. Nice. So, yeah, I thought they were really good. That's always weird when someone's talking about you in a positive way. It I was gonna like, say, uh, it feels weird I though. find this easy to masturbate to. Cause uh, it was just like, oh, yeah. Sark is so good and like, generous. Oh. And I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> say I'm generous again. <laughs> uh, no, they're great. They're, they're, yeah. They are, uh, they're good vids and I appreciate it and, and I love the dude and I hope the best for him. And he invited me to be a groomsman at his wedding. Yes, I saw him. Uh, he's already married but they're having a ceremony and uh, I'm totally in, I'm totally down. Nice. Yeah. You're gonna go strapped with him? I talk to Hutch all the time, just so you guys know. Some of you wonder if we're like, like out of touch. I talk to Hutch and Nanners all the time. Yep. They're, not, they're not strangers, so. You do too, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Our next question comes from Jordan Miko. He asks, would you give me a nickel if I tickled your pickle? Probably in that very voice. Yeah. I'm assuming right. the pickle is our dicks, if right? If you touched our penises, would we, would give, we him give him a nickel? Five cents. Uh, I'm sure it's a fun, it's a fun little limerick yeah. here. Nickel, mm -hmm. tickle, pickle. Right. But let's be serious. If you rolled up to me and you tickled my pickle, mm -hmm. I would fucking punch through you. I'd punch through you like Gabriel Byrne did to that one dude in End of Days. How's that for an obscure goddamn reference? <laughs> Now the part of the show where we answer questions in the super duper fast mode. Here we go, are you ready? Nicholas Zarko spins an age old question. Would you rather fight a horse sized duck or a hundred duck sized horses? A hundred duck sized horses. horses. Always fight the smaller creatures, Zerko. Joshua Ray Parker wants to know if we'd rather eat the nose of Sarah Jessica Parker or eat Megan Fox's armpit. I'd, I'd rather eat Megan Fox's shit than anything on Sarah Jessica Parker. Hayden Pina wants to know if we'd rather be rich and ugly or sexy and poor. Rich and ugly. Yep. You got the money, they'll bang yep. you. They'll bang you, yep. Molly wants to know who we like better, Emma Watson or Hermione? This is hard. Mm. This, is a t this is a hard question? No, my dick is hard. Oh. Mm. Yeah. I don't know, I can't decide. Mm. Either or. Yeah? You don't care? No. Um, well, I don't, know who, I don't know who Emma Watson is. I know well, who Hermione is. She plays... Is Emma Watson the chick that Hermione plays in real life? Yes. Oh. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Hermione. Yeah. Now, Piskitowski asks whether or not I'd rather change gingers every time I sneeze or not be able to tell the difference between a baby and a muffin. Now, every now and then on Rapid Fire, we gotta put the brakes on and discuss, really deep dive into the more intellectual questions. Piskitowski, this is a good one. Let me just kick things off here. Okay. If okay. you're unable to discern the difference between muffins and babies, sometimes you'll coddle a muffin like it's a human baby. No harm, no foul. The flip side of that coin, though, is sometimes you're gonna eat a baby. Right. Because you thought it was a muffin. Eh, that, I'm assuming that even as you're eating it, you can't tell. You just think it's a delicious mm. bran muffin and you're actually just coated the baby in baby, is just, baby oh, fats. Yeah. yeah. Now, here's the thing. Mm. When have you ever just eaten somebody's muffins without asking? You're always going to get warning. You don't just cruise in and eat, right? Yeah, And if you're at true. Costco and you see a bunch of muffins on the shelf, you're, you're fairly safe in betting that it's not a bunch of babies on a shelf at Costco, right? But you would be able to tell, they would look like babies. They would look like babies on yeah, the shelf. Yeah, but you know, but you know they're not, because they're at Costco. You already know that. So I'm saying there's not a, unless, unless, and Mondo brings up a good point here, mm. unless it's your own baby. Because then you don't right. have but to But then ask. you would just have trained yourself and your wife would know that you have a condition and that unless you can't you're, eat the Unless muffin. you're separated and there is no one there, and then but this you is had here, lots of then experience. you had well yeah but this is there's a baby's life at stake here okay well so what no, if you have a baby I think your wife's not home and then you come home and you're like oh look at that muffin that somebody left in the crib you wouldn't hmm. and then and the, so I was gonna Why? say I would rather have the inability to discern the difference between muffins and babies but now that I think about it there is a couple cases where you might be left alone and there's no one to tell there's no one to to help you out so I'm gonna go with change genders every time you sneeze. Oof. Yeah. Then, but then you got to deal with menstruating. No, I'll eat a baby. Yeah. But then you, but no. Nope. But in a, in a in a chain succession of sneezes, you could also force yourself to sneeze. You could, snor you know, smell some pepper, and if you were sick of being a woman, you'd sneeze. You'd be back to being a man. So that's controllable. That's a good point. You know what I mean? You I'm back on the stay. sneeze side. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So. Yeah. So uh, in answer to your question, Piskatowski, uh, I would like to change genders every time I sneeze. Good job. Yeah. Hey. Just Together we can get through anything. That's right. Thanks for watching Inbox this week. We decided that we wanted to start posing some questions to you guys after the fact, since you guys have so many questions for us. This week's question is the following. Which is your favorite Die Hard movie? Mm. Just 
just put it below in the comments. I'm interested to see. There's a lot of ho this is hotly debated. I know what mine office. is, but I'm not gonna say it. I know what it is. But uh, let's see what your guys is, and uh, we'll be back next week with more of your wacky questions. See you later. Bye. <laughs> should, should I just keep doing weird ones? <laughs> just like fucking weird movies. Uh, yeah. I'd break your elbow like you were a Seagal bad guy, and I was in Seagal in the early 90s. <laughs> I'd rip your heart out like you were uh, an Indian guy, and I was a, uh, an Indian priest who worshipped Kali Ma. <laughs> I'd put your mouth on the sidewalk and kick the back of your head like a white supremacist. <laughs> I'd slit your gut open and unspool your intestines like you were William Wallace, and I was Longshanks. I'd blow all your limbs off like you were Peter Weller and you just walked into my gang's hideout and thought you were tough shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'd blow you away like you were racing against me and I was Vin Diesel with us two canisters of NOS. <laughs> <laughs> I'd nail you to a tree like you said you were the son of God and I was a Roman guy. <laughs> 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 Wood's like, we did it. <laughs> we did it.